An important development took place on July 7th, as far as I know. It's worth mentioning that Leonardo Corporation has entered into a global licensing agreement. We may be able to begin initial deliveries before the end of this year. Greetings, dear friends. Today, our guest is Andrea Rossi, CEO of Leonardo Corporation and the inventor of the ECAT device. Welcome, Andrea. Good day to everyone, and thank you for the invitation. Thank you for being with us again. For our viewers who may not have seen the previous interview, could you briefly explain what the ECAT is, just in a few words, to give people a basic idea, and then we'll dive deeper into the topic? Sure. The ECAT is an energy generator that operates with very high efficiency. And for those who would like to learn more and dive into the technical details, we recommend visiting our official website. It's very simple. www.ecat.com Excellent. Thank you. Now, an important development took place on July 7th, as far as I know. You made a significant announcement regarding the ECAT. Could you tell us a bit more about what that was? Yes. First of all, it's worth mentioning that Leonardo Corporation has entered into a global licensing agreement with a company that currently prefers to remain confidential. This company has the capacity to accelerate both the industrialization of the product and its global distribution. That's why, on July 7th, we published our latest report. We usually release these reports on a monthly basis. And in the July update, we highlighted the fact that the collaboration on know-how transfer production setup and the distribution of the ECAT has made substantial progress. My personal impression is that we may be able to begin initial deliveries before the end of this year. I can't guarantee it. But that's the sense I have. That was the key message of our July report. So, in other words, you're confirming, or at least expressing hope, that the product may indeed reach the distribution phase by the end of 2025, as previously stated. And this impression is based essentially on the fact that just to clarify for our audience, the know-how transfer process, or the so-called handover in technical terms, has been successfully completed. And you believe that the technical and scientific team within your partner company is now sufficiently autonomous to carry forward the production on their own. Correct? Correct. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know. Maybe some of these details are protected by non-disclosure agreements. But still, may we... Don't worry. Please feel free to ask. And if something falls under confidentiality, I'll just say, unfortunately, I can't answer that. It's classified. Great. Would you say that a large team is working under your direction on this technology? I mean the scientific and technical team? Or is it a small group of specialists who will, in turn, train others? I don't really direct anyone. What I do is teach. I train a small group of individuals who will then pass on the specific knowledge to the relevant specialists in their respective fields. And regarding the steps that still need to be taken from this point to the actual distribution, what exactly is still missing for the product to enter the market? Completion of the production lines. 
completion of the production lines, because this is mostly an automated robotic process, as you mentioned last time. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. So essentially what remains is to complete... Yes, because it's not a simple task. All right. All right. So there is hope that all of this can be accomplished during 2025. By the way, I recall, perhaps I read it in your blog, though I'm not entirely certain, that one of the partners in the consortium, so to speak, is already a well-known name in the field of electricity grid distribution. Is that right? No, for now, all I can say is that it's a company involved in the distribution of electricity. One more question I'd like to ask. If we try to define what stage the project is currently at, what would you say? It's difficult to answer, as this is a very broad question. I understand. Let me put it more precisely. More focused. All right. You've said that production hasn't started yet, but let's frame it this way, just so our audience can get a better sense. Well, of course. If you had to express the level of completion in terms of a percentage, where would you say things stand right now? That's a very precise question. I would estimate the current level of readiness at about 70%. Excellent. So we can say it's already a positive and optimistic outlook. From a quantitative point of view, the hardest part is done. So for the qualitative standpoint, I've basically already passed on all of my knowledge. At this stage, my role is primarily advisory. I act as a consultant, sharing my specialized expertise, mainly in the field of technology. As for production, no, I have absolutely no experience here, especially when it comes to the ECAT. We've never reached this phase before, so I can't speak to the production aspect. Of course. And that's clearly where the need arises to bring in partners able to scale up the industrial process. Exactly. Right. I think I've heard in other interviews, as you said, that everything related to product promotion, communications, media engagement, and so on, will also be handled by your partners? Yes, exactly. And they'll surely entrust those tasks to specialists. So your role will remain advisory, and your official position would be... Chief Scientist. Chief Scientist, meaning you will continue to pursue research to further improve the product. Will there be an official product launch? Are you planning anything? Yes. Yes. Once distribution begins, there will definitely be an official announcement. I'd like to ask a bit of a provocative question, because last time there were some comments, we read them. So I want to address that segment of the audience as well. What would you say to those who have doubts about the authenticity or functioning of the ECAT or the project as a whole? Well, doubting is also a sign of intelligence. On a theoretical level, many debates can take place among very capable people who have different opinions. But experiments wipe out any theoretical contradiction. And once the product is released to the market, there may still be other doubts or new challenges but people become convinced only when they see with their own eyes that something really works. Of course, there's a saying, facts are stubborn things. Exactly. And in any case, skepticism is the philosophy of intelligent people. And it's entirely reasonable. Absolutely. Thank you for that answer. And with that, we also acknowledge the right to doubt, including for those viewers who may express it again, which is perfectly fair. Thank you to those who have doubts, because it means they're at least paying attention to what we're doing. Exactly.
Esatto, mi exactly. un buon modo di vederla. Io I think that's a great way to look at things. Thank you so much for being with us and for sharing this update. Sicuramente we'll certainly stay in touch. Hopefully soon, perhaps already in 2025, to follow up with more developments. And thanks to everyone who joined us. Until next time. Many thanks to everyone.